jour, the song. Je la mets dans My un mother tiroir. was one of them, an assassin. And you were an abomination that had to be dealt with. Your father, however, had other ideas. Elise, Elise, do you copy me? I'm here, my love. Are you all right? Oh, a little sore, but I can travel. Good. What of the Brotherhood and the Immortal? He's already looking for us. Complications. Where are you? You can find me at the corner of Avenue de Bretagne. Stay put, Elise. Kill anyone who comes near you that doesn't have my charm or my good looks. <laughs> I already have a little mouse with me that has both. But yes, I will.
no good at this. The mortals onto us. You're gonna have to make a run for it. I'll cover you. Just follow the trail of blood. Now, move!
Does he still trust me? Still, always. My son, he is beautiful. You were expecting less. He's forbidden by the code. He shouldn't be here. Mm, and yet he is in my arms. Give me the boy. Our son, Cross. Our son. <laughs> Elise! No! Never. Let him go. The shooter, who is he? The immortal. The head of the Paris fraternity. To a fanatic like him, your parents violated the code of the loom. And the Paris fraternity is here now, in Chicago, because of me? Not only because of you. Loom, so at least I knew where I'd find the bastards. The loom of fate room. All this and not a goddamn cape in sight. Like I was just here yesterday. I hope they ordered some extra body bags.
this place up good, huh? Rats and explosives, a match made in heaven.
Is she here? Have you found her? Yeah. We locate nobody. Son of the killer may have taken special interest. <laughs> Perhaps he trachnul Fox's course before it gets too cold. Shut up. He's not like you. Until Brammel gets here, clean this up. Then we'll deal with the loan. Well, конечно. Of course, but you, you are going to help? Do you have any idea how much I paid for this? Back to work, Gandon. Must clean entire floor by night. The fraternity had betrayed me like they betrayed my father. So, uh, yeah, I didn't have any problem with payback. Hey, Sputnik, why don't you just give me your arm and we'll forget all about this shooting at each other thing. Not much left of this place.
Piece of shit. He had a sign, the secret language of the fraternity. The tattoo, binary code. I knew it was important. So, I had to take it with me. My, Wesley. You've taken to all this rather quickly, haven't you? Binary code, what's it mean? Who did it belong to? The Russian. He didn't need it anymore. He is... was... a guardian. When a loom is to be moved, three are sent from our various fraternities. Each carries a unique tattoo that is a partial code for where the loom is to be delivered. And every fraternity has guardians? Out of necessity, as they do seem to attract misfortune. You know, that used to scare the shit out of me. My doctor thought I was having an anxiety attack. If they only knew. As you might expect, the big skills come at a price. Come here, Ben! 
Now, only a moron would think that that is all there is to it. But if you're lucky, you'll stay alive long enough to realize that there is a big difference between shooting a gun and being an assassin. Just to try and get me. I'm gonna need another way off this plane. Think, damn it. The cockpit has an emergency hatch and parachutes. <laughs>
cette merde There is no escape for you here. Why? Why'd you do it? Have you asked yourself the same question? Elise wouldn't be alive if you hadn't infected her with your seed. That seed has a name. Wesley? Yes, I know. And I have something of his cross this. You son of a bitch. Only motel. Or maybe you will learn to fly. Shit. I can't fly, you asshole. But I can't drive. Find the other two Guardians, and you will know where they plan to take the Chicago Loom. Is it true the Immortal had a bullet with my name on it? Yes. I believe so. How do you know? Because I made it. The Paris Fraternity ordered a hundred more just like it. I'm meeting their buyer, a man named Brummel, in half an hour. Care to tag along? Chicago, Chicago, my favorite place to snipe in. Shit. Pekorski was on his own. I figured he'd understand. I gotta get a closer look at Brummel's tattoo.
Cubicles. God damn. I was kind of hoping that becoming a super assassin meant I'd never have to see them again.
You like an itch on my balls, Wesley. And I'm tired of it. Well, I aim to please. Then your bloody aim is shit. I came for the loom, not for you, asswipe. But now, I'm gonna kill you. Just for fun and a laugh. <laughs> How about you hold this? Come on, you fucker. You're a fucking hoe. You're a little bitch. Fuck. Come out. I gotta get closer. He's not moving anywhere. Come fight for fuck's sake. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to kill this pussy bitch from back here. Fuck you! Ah! Eat it! Oh! Oh shit, motherfucker! Oh! You lucky bitch! Fuck you! Did you? you fucking pussy! Oh! Motherfucker! Oh! You bastard! for your punk ass. Swallow that, dickhead. Oh, shit. Fuck it. Oh, you fuck it. Gotcha. Oh, oh. Motherfucker, you! Ah, oh, you lucky bitch! Ah! Oh. Enjoy watching me die. Just staying for the theater of it all. Actually, um, I need something from your corpse. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Why the fuck didn't you say so? Take it. Remember, this was your call. And I gotta give you credit, man. I would have screamed like a bitch if that had been me. <laughs> the time. Where's it at? I'm guessing about three. the dynamite. Fuck me.
Holy shit balls! Didn't your mom tell you not to play with knives? This is coming from a dude who flunked Jim. The second piece of the puzzle. Literally. How'd they know? How did they know? Sorry. How the fuck did they know you were in Chicago? It was the kill order for my father's safe house. That's what you're after, isn't it? It's an important piece of fraternity business, and it should be protected. Your father never had the chance to tell you how this all began. Well, it started here. Your father thought he was answering a distress call from Sloan. Are you sure they're going to make a move against us? Your previous dealings with the Paris fraternity have been less than cordial, shall we say? You think this is about me? The French believe you went rogue in killing one of their own aboard that jetliner. You give me that kill order, Sloan. Headed for the loom of fate.
surprise you to learn that this has happened to me before and you know how I feel now you have seen it with your own eyes cross cannot be trusted you must meet his fate I'm gonna rip your fucking head off! 